This Profus Anchor tutorial will explain how to use the Anchor Plate tab. Clicking on the Anchor Plate tab permits users to select a standard base plate size, to create a custom base plate, to rotate the base plate with respect to the X and Y axis, to input the base plate thickness, and to select standoff conditions. When Profus Anchor is open, it defaults to a square base plate shape. You can modify the dimensions of the square base plate or make the square base plate into a rectangular shape by clicking on a dimension, inputting a value, then clicking enter to save the value. Clicking on the diamond shape results in a base plate configuration in which the corners are located along the X and the Y axes. Note also that the dimensions are given with respect to the distance between the corners of the base plate. Clicking on the circle shape results in a base plate having a circular configuration. The base plate dimensions with respect to the X and the Y axes are given in terms of the plate diameter. When a triangle shape is selected, the resulting base plate configuration is an equilateral triangle. The dimensions of the base plate correspond to the length of each leg of this equilateral triangle. Clicking on the hexagon shape results in a hexagonal base plate configuration. The dimensions correspond to the length of each side of the hexagon. Profus Anchor users also have an option to select no base plate for their application. This option can only be used for single anchor configurations. Therefore, if more than one anchor is in the application, a base plate configuration must be used. Clicking on the Anchor Layout tab and selecting one anchor, however, will permit you to use a configuration in which there is no base plate. The center of the base plate is oriented with respect to the X and the Y axis. Click on Rotate Clockwise 90 degrees and the base plate configuration will be rotated 90 degrees in a clockwise direction. Likewise, click on Rotate Counterclockwise 90 degrees and the base plate configuration will be rotated counterclockwise in a 90 degree direction. The base plate thickness can be input in two ways. The first way is to click on the parameter corresponding to base plate thickness on the main screen, input a value, and click Enter. The second way is to go to the box titled Plate Thickness and input a value for the plate thickness in the box titled Thickness, then click Enter. Clicking Enter saves the value that has been input for the base plate thickness. Profus Anchor users can select various standoff options by clicking on the box titled Standoff. A drop down becomes available in which the standoff options can be selected. Profus Anchor will default to a no standoff condition each time a new project is opened. Other standoff options include standoff without clamping, in which no clamping is assumed at the surface of the concrete, standoff with clamping, in which clamping is assumed at the surface of the concrete, and standoff with grouting for grouted base plate applications. Standoff without clamping can be selected as an option for anchor systems which do not require clamping at the surface of the concrete during installation. The amount of standoff can be entered by clicking on the standoff parameter directly on the main screen and inputting a value then clicking enter or you can click on the box titled standoff 
and input a value in the box titled Distance. Click Enter to save the standoff value. ProfiSynker users can input a value for rotational restraint corresponding to the amount of rotation the anchor is assumed to undergo at the location of the base plate. ProfiSynker users can input values for rotational restraint ranging between 1 and 2. A rotational restraint equal to 1 corresponds to the condition where the anchor and the base plate are assumed to be able to rotate freely. Inputting a value for rotational restraint equal to 2 corresponds to the anchor not being able to rotate at the location of the base plate. To input a value for rotational restraint, go to the box titled Rotational Restraint, input the desired value, then click Enter. Standoff with clamping is selected when the application will involve clamping at the surface of the concrete. Notice that when this option is selected, the illustration shows a nut and washer assembly being used at the surface of the concrete. Standoff with clamping must be selected when expansion anchors, such as the Quick Bolt TZ, which require torquing during installation, are used with a standoff condition. Input the amount of standoff and the amount of rotational restraint, then click Enter. When standoff with grouting is selected, Profus Anchor defaults to a value of 2 for rotational restraint. When rotational restraint is set equal to 2, it assumes that the anchor cannot rotate freely at the location of the base plate. Users can modify the value for rotational restraint for standoff with grouting to any value between 1 and 2. Users can also select a Hilti grout when standoff with grouting is selected as an option. Reference Hilti product literature for technical information on these grouts. Please keep in mind that Profus Anchor is not intended to be used for base plate design. Base plate shapes can be modeled by clicking on the box titled Plate Shape. You can model a plate having a standard shape, or you can model a plate having a customized shape. To model a customized shape, click on the box titled Customize Geometry. The following screen will appear. The base plate geometry is defined by the dark gray shaded area shown on the screen. Note also that the bolts are shown within the area of the plate. Base plate limits are defined by nodes. Each node is numbered and shown on the main screen, as well as in the box titled Node Coordinates. Node coordinates correspond to the distance of the node from the center of the base plate along the X and Y axis. So for example, node 2 has coordinates of 10 in the x direction and negative 10 in the y direction. This indicates that node number 2 is located at a distance 10 inches in the plus x direction and 10 inches in the minus y direction from the center of the base plate. The overall base plate width, length, and in the case of circular base plates diameter, is given under the heading Shape Properties. The values which are given for each parameter correspond to the node geometry for the base plate. So for example, the width of this base plate equals 20 inches. This corresponds to the distance between node 1 and node 2, or node 3 and node 4, in the X direction. The X coordinate for node 3 equals 10 and the X coordinate for node 4 equals negative 10. Therefore the distance between node 3 and 4 
as well as between node 1 and 2 equals 20 inches. You can also modify the plate geometry by inputting a value corresponding to that particular dimension in the box for that dimension. The node geometry as well as the node coordinates will be modified to reflect this new dimension. If a profile such as a W section is included in the modeling, the location of the profile on the base plate as well as its orientation can be entered under the heading Profile Eccentricity. Let's reposition the profile section so that it's offset from the center of the base plate and its orientation is 90 degrees with respect to the orientation being shown on the screen. Input values for the offset in the X and the Y direction. Note now that the center of the profile is located such that it is 2 inches in the X direction and 1 inch in the Y direction from the center of the base plate. To change the orientation of the profile section, enter a value in the box titled Angle. Note now that the profile section has been rotated 90 degrees from its original orientation. Clicking on the box titled Move Node permits a node to be repositioned to another location. Place the cursor over the node and drag it to the desired location. You can make additional adjustments to the node position using the node coordinates box. You can add additional nodes by clicking on the Add Node box. Move the cursor to the desired location, noting that the XY coordinates for the node will be shown on the screen, as well as its orientation with respect to adjacent nodes. Double click to set the location for the node. You can further adjust the position of the node using the node coordinates box. Click on Delete Node to remove a node from the construction. Highlight the node, then click on it, and it will be removed from the construction. Click on Delete All Nodes, and all baseplate nodes will be removed, and a new baseplate construction can be made. When using the Custom Anchor Plate Editor, the position of the baseplate with respect to the X and Y axis can be rotated clockwise or counterclockwise 90 degrees. To rotate the base plate, click on the appropriate orientation. The anchors will then also need to be oriented to correspond with the position of the base plate. Click on the box titled Anchor Layout Editor and then click on Rotate Clockwise or Counterclockwise for the anchors so that the anchors will now be positioned to correspond with the position of the base plate. When new base plate nodes are added, four drawing options become available. Select Closest Node, and when the new node is added, it can be positioned with respect to the two closest nodes at a given location. Select Last Node, and the new node will be positioned between the node having the lowest number and the highest number in the construction. Showing the grid and snapping a node to a location on the grid facilitates base plate construction. The position of the base plate can be adjusted by left clicking on the arrows in the center of the base plate and then moving your mouse to adjust the base plate to the desired location. Sometimes during the construction, you may need to recenter the view. 
either use the up and down arrows to move the position of the base plate so that it is centered within the view of the screen or click on the box titled Center View and the base plate will be centered within the screen. When you have completed construction for your customized base plate geometry, click on OK and you will be returned to the main screen. The new base plate construction will now be shown on the main screen. This completes the Profus Anchor tutorial on the Anchor Plate tab. If you would like to contact Hilti for additional information, click on the wrench icon in the upper left portion of the main screen. Click on Resources, then click on Contact Us. Your email will be sent to Hilti North America Technical Services and we will respond to you in a timely manner.